Mami. Last night I weighed 163.798 extra food and after I ate the amount of food that I was supposed to eat, I went downstairs and got another snack to eat. So therefore I'm really at risk at this point. I'm gonna check my weight just to see where I'm at. 162.4 without the camera. I'm getting really lucky with my weight. That's strange, you see those lights? I was going to the counter to pay and it turns out that the lady just like allowed me to have it for free. That's shocking. I can't even eat them. I ate Skittles, Oreos, and I still managed to make it under. So luck is simply an illusion. It appears as if one is unintentionally winning or succeeding in something, but in reality, they are prepared. So it appears as if they're unprepared, but in reality, they are. I just got really emotional because in reality, the tournament was here, but the tournament wasn't in my mind. It didn't occur to me that I was going to the state tournament, although it happened. And once it occurred to me, I had a flashback of the first time that I wrestled in the state tournament when I was in the second grade, my first year of wrestling. And I became extremely emotional because I won, although I was timid and afraid, but I had the qualities and the heart that drove me and propelled me to the state championship where I placed second. And the only reason why I placed second was because of, because of fear. I was impairing myself in the second grade. And the outcome of these wrestling matches are a reflection of my being. If I have the qualities that are necessary to win, that will result in me winning. Because who I am is a reflection of my actions. And my actions result in the outcome of the wrestling matches. So I'm honestly in the same exact shoes of that young second grade Najee who's wrestling in the state tournament. I'm about to eat after after cutting weight. I couldn't eat at all because I had to make weight. I went about two days without, or one day without eating, and it was painful, but, um, and I'm telling you, I'm more, I'm more motivated now. I have a clear reason to win this. I know that I can win these matches, but I haven't been winning these matches. And the fact that the outcome of these matches are contrary to what I know, that suggests that I have been restraining myself. I made the decision to restrain unrestrain my ability, my body, and my mind from anything so that only I will be influencing the outcome of this match and I'll have power over my ability to win these matches. I have a clear reason to win these matches. I'm doing this for my family. I'm doing this for people that I love. I want to honor them because they put in a lot of hard work for me to get to where I am right now. And honestly, I have to honor them. This is bigger than who I am. I'm doing this for other people. I'm, I just happen to be the person who's doing it. So, uh, yeah. I got another reason to do this. I have a clear motive to do it. And oh my, those wraps look amazing. They have like new wraps. I wasn't eating food when I like lacked food and couldn't eat it. Uh, well, well, I had um, my desire for food has increased. So, and when I had, when I was able to eat food at, right after weigh-ins, it seems like I didn't even want food. So that simply suggests that we only we always value what we lack.
And sometimes when we want something and we can't motivate ourselves to do it, it's just that you haven't acknowledged the fact that you lack it. You're, you're convincing yourself that you have it, but in reality you don't. And once you acknowledge the fact that you lack what you want, your desire for what you want will increase. Um, so yeah, I take on the fact that I didn't have food. seems like no matter how much food I consume or what I do, I always have to end it off with a sweet, with something to snack on. So I'm gonna go downstairs to get a snack. found a dollar after my match, which I think is quite lucky. Do you notice that a lot of lucky events are happening today? We are currently at the state tournament and my mother just asked for me to take a picture in a tunnel. And we're gonna prank her. I'm gonna convince her that we only took one picture in the tunnel and it's gonna be a really, really, really bad picture. That's the thing. Is it this one? Yeah. Coach is getting scared. <laughs> he wanted to send the rest of the pictures. Mommy, what do you think about the picture? I love it. Huh? Who sent me that picture? That's the only picture we took. Who? That's the only picture we took, mommy. Okay, okay, okay. That's the only picture we took. Okay. How do you feel? I feel sad. <laughs> 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 mommy. Let me see my Well, we didn't get the reaction you wanted. Mommy, we took different we took more pictures, so. Oh you did? We took more pictures. Okay, give, give me the No give me. mommy, chill. Fine, take Tell me I do it this way. My ace back there, you know what I'm saying? A1 since day one, baby. You got games on your phone? Do you even know the fam? <laughs> <laughs>